Canada is in an opioid crisis with hundreds dying from the highly addictive drugs and few options for patients to get off them. Until now, a study released today finds a new program here at Toronto General Hospital, which is the first of its kind in the world, is having remarkable success teaching the brain to deal with pain. Pain is an all-encompassing sensation that takes over a person's ability to function normally. And how long have you been living with that pain? I lived with that pain for 13 years, 24-7. Paul Ross went on hydromorphone injections for 12 years to deal with his severe pain. It's a powerful opioid that he found he couldn't live without, but the side effects were destroying his life. You are left in a fuzz, your life is a fuzz. It completely took over my life. After five years of trying unsuccessfully to get off the addictive opioid, he finally did. In one day, cold turkey. This is how he did it. Just begin to focus on your breathing. Paul was taught mindfulness techniques in a pain management program at Toronto General Hospital that combines a doctor's care with a psychological approach, including meditation training, relaxation, and deep breathing. And just letting your mind settle. Paul's pain is still there, but the program taught his brain how to deal with it. You're able to just let it be part of you. Exactly. Before, it was me. Now it's part of me. And he's not the only patient able to get off the opioids. A two-year study just released today found 65% of patients who went through the combined program after surgery were discharged opioid-free, compared to 41% that didn't. It sounds simple, but is this revolutionary? I think it's a big change and a really important one that rather than just relying on the prescription pad that we're able to add other tools. It's such an important thing right now when we're more and more worried about how opioids are affecting people. Canada has the second highest use of opioids in the world with hundreds dying from overdoses. Despite dire warnings there is a crisis, a recent study found opioid prescriptions continue to rise in Ontario. This program could be a solution to helping patients get off the addictive drugs. And if we think that our 700 deaths are a big number, that's a drop in the bucket if we continue to see patients being uh, abandoned uh, out there. So we're hopeful that these are the roadmaps that can start to help uh, physicians head down the road of safely doing this. And Paul Ross says this new program has truly saved his life and made a massive difference in his quality of life. And the hope that this new program at Toronto General Hospital is that now it will become the blueprint for pain management at other hospitals across the country. And certainly more resources are needed to help those who are in pain. In Ontario, there is only one doctor per 50,000 patients who are suffering.